Hello, it's me again. I'm gonna be doing my hair green. Maybe some blue, probably some purple as well. I'm not really not sure, but I'll probably add those in tomorrow. Maybe. So yeah. Um, all of the dye will be yeah, it's not sponsored. I've never used crazy colour. I use usually use Direction or Manic Panic. So just kinda hoping for the best. They were cheaper, so Basically what I'm going to do is take, sorry it keeps going out, but yeah I'm going to take a little dish and squat. up, wait, I should probably put the conditioner in first. So the way to get these colours, the way you want them and to get the best money out of it, is basically to just um, put the conditioner you want, well first off, buy some really cheap conditioner so like this was 75p a bowl which I think is pretty good so I'm going to use about this much to start off and then buy a dye that is darker than you actually want it and then you just dilute it down so you can take this bit squirt a little bit of green in it if it decides to come out or if it's being awkward simplicity take the top off so I'm going to put a little bit of dye in. Not coming out. Oh wow, that's a lot of green. Okay, so I put a bit of dye in, a little bit. And I'm just going to mix it and see what the colour turns out like. And then you mix it to a shade that you want. A couple darker than the shade, a couple darker than the shade that you want. And yeah, use it like that. I will say most cheap dyes that I've come across are coconut, so if you don't like coconut you're a bit screwed. But, hey ho. I don't think that's going to be enough to cover my head, so I'm going to have a bit more. There's some more. I'm not professional at this, so if I'm not taking any responsibility for anything that goes wrong for anything else. Because I am just an idiot that's trying out stuff with her own hair, hoping for the best expecting the worst. So yeah, I've added a bit more in to mix that in so it's nice and even and pretty. See, I'm annoying. I'm not going to use gloves. I know people are probably going to hate me for that. But hey ho, it's what it is. Um, yeah, got my green. I'm mixing it in as you and gonna apply it. I might do different sections, I'm not sure. I might do that when I get to the end so, so I might section off a bit. Right. I, I bleach bathed my hair again today and it's just as my hair's getting back to nice condition. I've just ruined it again. Also, for these type of colours, you kind of want to get your hair as close to white as you can. Which is why I bleach bath the mine again today. It's like, still get yellow undertones, but it should, should be alright. If it isn't, you just keep dyeing it until it looks decent. Yeah, I'm going to be one of those people and not use gloves because you all know I'm trash. And also, I'm going to be looking over here because that's where my mirror is. But, yeah. So, you just want to start applying it, really. Also, to all those people who like blend it in and separate it, if you do in one colour, just like use your hands and rub it in like you were conditioner. Yes, easy peasy, and a squeezy. And if you care about your hands being all like different colours as well, then put some gloves on, but I don't really care, so I'm not going to bother. And it's a lot easier to do with your hands. It doesn't come out as evenly, but who cares about evenness when... You can have good timings, love. I'm gonna need more stuff, so I'm gonna make some more. Like looking at that, that isn't gonna cover my whole head. So you add a bit. It's all like a game, just hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Like 
If you're doing this yourself, don't expect it to turn out like it would in a salon because frankly, unless you've got a professional hair person doing it, it's not going to. But you just kind of think, well, that might look alright, and then hopefully it does. And if it doesn't, well, then you act as though you like it and everyone, it will grow on everyone. Hopefully. Yeah, that's basically what I do. So when my hair looks yellow, you're like, yeah, I, 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 I plan to do this. 100%. When really inside you're like, none of, all of you guys know that I didn't plan to do this, but I'm just going to pretend that I did. So I don't look like such a fool. The pro about sectioning though is that you can tell that when you've got everything, whereas with my method, just kind of hope for the best. That's just my method, you just hope for the best, expect the worst. That way, you can't really be disappointed. Also, on the thing, it says to leave it on like for 15 to 20 minutes. Don't do that, leave it on for as long as you can because these dyes don't really hurt your hair and damage it all that much or much at all really if you do it this way because you're essentially just even conditioning it and put your food colouring in it except it's not food colouring it's dye but my analogies aren't great I never claim for them to be any good so I'm like the bloody queen no not the queen the, might be a queen person from Wizard of Oz you, yeah it'll be the queen of the west no the witch of the west that's it that is me, just jealous and bitter. to make some more jewelry to lime all well. Silly, silly. But oh well. More times. Fun times. Just going to use a mirror to check the back of my head. Oh snap, I've missed a big section. See, always use a mirror. And also wear old clothes because it will get messy. I think a lot of people that dye their hair like this are assumed to be like good at what they do. And to be honest, most of us are just winging it. We have no clue what we're doing. Like this? You think I know what I'm doing? I've got no idea. You just, again, you hope for the best, expect the worst. Then, when it inevitably goes wrong, that like one or seven times, you'll be expecting it. And if, you, if you're very picky about it coming out like patchy and uneven and stuff, then I'd recommend getting it done by a friend or family member or like done professionally if you want it done well. But if you're not really all that bothered, then just do it yourself. I mean, I care to a certain extent, but at the end of the day, I'm just gonna keep dying it until it looks partially decent, so, you know. Basically, the first time you'll do this, you'll probably be terrified and like, what if it goes wrong? And it might, but you know what you do? You just, you rock whatever it comes out like, because at the end of the day, it's hair, and hair grows back, except for when it doesn't. Hi, so my camera cut out just as I was like, finishing up, so I just kind of plopped the rest of the dye on and then I put it in this and I've had in for like an hour and a half pretty much now so I'm gonna go wash it out see what it looks like but 
um, I'll probably film in the morning to show you what it looks like because I'm not going to use my hair dryer because I'll wake the family up, which isn't too great. Um, but yeah, I hope it looks okay to be honest. So yeah, this is how it turned out. It's quite green, very green. I'm going to go put some blue in the ends in a minute, I think. And there may be some purple in the fringe because why not? Yeah, I hope this was alright. Yeah. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Maybe I'm just pushing stuff now, but don't worry about me. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.